All right, good morning. Uh, it's been a couple of days. I've uh, been doing work around the house. So we're trying to get back onto this, especially a nice, cool morning. Uh, you'll notice I've already sanded uh, the inside. Uh, there's two coats on the fiberglass. Uh, not happy with how it kind of laid out. Uh, there's still quite a few areas in the, the curves here that still have the weaves showing. So uh, we're gonna put a third coat of epoxy on. However, we're really trying to work on the ends. And since uh, everything's been sanded, I'm doing things a different way. Uh, I am going to ha go ahead and put in my spacer blocks uh, right now. Uh, we're going to do a purple heart uh, because that's going to match the thwart uh, that I'm uh, custom building. It's going to be sandwiched with, um, uh, if you will, a pine uh, inside in order to, again, kind of accent uh, all of the uh, beetle kill fungus that is in here. So we're going to continue working on this. Uh, just kind of slow, easy we go. Uh, we'll get the other sides and then we'll put the actual other piece on. Uh, I am doing both uh, sides or uh, the top uh, strips, all of hardwoods, because again, that's the area that takes the beating when you're throwing it in the back of your truck. It's one thing to have a piece of art, but it's also ni nice to have something that's functional that uh, you can use and abuse and the hardwoods. Uh, we've got a white oak, uh, then we're going to have purple heart, and then again another white oak uh, on the inside. A little bit heavier, uh, understood, and right now we're at about 24 pounds on this, so it's uh, definitely heavier than I want, but I think the problem is the weave, uh, the fiberglass weave. I think it's probably around a 7 or 8 ounce, uh, when we really should be running a 4 ounce, because we've struggled, especially on the inside, getting it to uh, soak in with the epoxy. So, lesson learned, we'll continue on. So, let's put in some more of our spacers. All right, so there's a couple of things that maybe you didn't see in the um, uh, time lapse that I want to go back and clarify. So I learned uh, quickly that uh, when you're doing these, uh, it is very easy to coat the inside in between as well as the edges uh, of these blocks when they're all exposed. Uh, if you glue these on to um, the other gunnel side and then put it on, um, that process, it's really hard to get into these tiny little slots. So again, my reasoning behind this is uh, putting these on, and I did that uh, on my other canoe as well, but I didn't necessarily do a good job of doing the sealing while everything was open and accessible. Uh, I put them on, glued them on, then put on the other one, and then tried to use a brush and jam in, um, in these spaces, all of the epoxies or the um, uh, clear coat in terms of the spar finish. So. This way gives you a lot more control. Uh, it does take a lot more time, but again, it kind of depends on if you're in a rush or not, what kind of quality you want, what kind of coverage you want. Um, and like I said, I use a little three inch block spacer, which is the same length as these. And then uh, you saw how I just went around in order to do that. I did put larger blocks uh, right here at about 52, 53 uh, inches from the back because that's where my thwart's going to go. And as I work on balancing this out just a little bit more, I've got uh, a wider block that I can work with in order to adjust where I think I'm going to put that thwart for my body position. That's why the ruler's sitting out there because at the center line, the instructions say you need to be about 15 or 16 inches back. Um, so that's just my visual reminder of where am I going to be seated? Where's the mass? Uh, in this in order to balance out because uh, on my other canoe uh, the thwart was a little too bit far back and we did put on about a two inch piece of foam onto it in order to push the seat forward and that made all the difference in the world in terms of riding level versus riding nose high. A nose high is not that big of a deal but when you're in wind uh, it does become a very big deal. You want that nose down a little bit so that you're really cutting into the water. So those were some of the things that uh, we did and you were able to see the process as we did this.